guys the phenomenal AJ Styles and you're watching Bretto Live. What is going on guys? Bretto Live back with another video and today we are doing a WrestleMania haul video. Yes, I know in the title it did say Mattel sent me a mystery bag or something along the lines of that and they did. When I went up to the Mattel headquarters in El Segundo or LA, uh, California, I was uh, treated with this insane Mattel gift bag. And we're going to be going through everything in this as well as my entire haul from WrestleMania. So like the things that I bought from the Superstore, the, the, the merchandise that I bought at WrestleMania itself, Raw After Mania, we're going to be going through all that in this video. WrestleMania was absolutely fantastic and everybody has to experience WrestleMania. Even if you're not the slightest bit of a wrestling fan, like it's still still an event like no other. I don't care where your seats are too, that event is just insanity, dude. From the stage, the pyrotechnics, the music, the storytelling, the wrestling, it is just insane. You guys haven't seen all the new videos on the channel, there are some bangers, dude. We got the Mattel Headquarters Tour, we got Rofter Mania, we got both nights of WrestleMania, night one and two videos. We got Superstore Toy Hunts, check it all out, it's on the Brutal Live channel. Check it out right down below. Click the Bruno Live logo and subscribe while you're there. Jumping right into the Mattel bag. That's what we're gonna start with. We're gonna start with the Mattel bag, and here's the bag. It's the I got a massive Mattel logo on the front. This is straight from the headquarters in LA. Insane. So we're gonna jump into what they hooked me up with. I'm gonna let you know if I got it from Mattel or I if or if I bought it myself. I will let you guys know that before we even jump into it. Of course, I had to pick this up. This is the WrestleMania pay-per-view shirt. Says uh, I was there on the back. I had to get this. You guys already know I like the pay-per-view shirts. And then jumping into the Mattel mystery bag. So the first thing, this is from Mattel. We got the Retros 4-pack. And like I said, there's just a bunch of random Mattel releases in this thing. So this Retro 4-pack is, yes, it's the orange packaging. So we're getting Doink the Clown. Getting Greg the Hammer Valentine, Tugboat, as well as Lex Luger. Four retros in there, and it's pretty freaking convenient because I never ordered this one from Mattel Creations. I ordered the other two that they did, but I never got this one, so it's literally perfect. I remember opening it up being like, oh my god, am I going to get one that I already have, or am I going to get one that I don't, and I got the one that I don't, and this is an absolute dub. Next up, another item that I got from Mattel themselves. We got the WrestleMania 39 Hollywood hat. You got the WrestleMania logo on the front. This is literally the official WWE hat. You got the LA logo on the side. This is a dog. This is a W hat. And let's let's dump that Bass Pro hat. Let's pop on the WrestleMania hat. Looking freaking good. But it's not going to be on there for too long because we also got a Bloodline hat. Get that one out of there. Let's throw the Bloodline hat on there. I did buy this one myself from the Superstore. I've always been looking at it. I never pulled the trigger on it from um, WWE shop. And I'm like, you know what? Today's the day, baby. We're at the Superstore. This thing's looking freaking sick. The Bloodline logo. I mean, the Bloodline's freaking iconic. It's like, it's a great faction. So I had to pick it up. Uh, you already know we got that pay-per-view cup. We got the uh, pay-per-view cup right here. Again, I got this from the Superstore. I didn't get this from Mattel. But this thing's awesome. It's got everybody that was on the show besides Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt is on here. There he is. Bray Wyatt's right there, and he wasn't on the card due to some sort of, I think it was like a medical reason. If anybody knows the exact reason, let me know down in the comments down below. But this cup, I think it was only like five bucks. It's awesome. Got a WWE bag right there. Thought it was cool. Kept that. And then jumping into the first figure, uh, Mattel Elite figure that I got from Mattel. I showed it on my Instagram. Here it is. We got the Ruthless Aggression Walmart exclusive Edge, dude. This figure was literally just shown at the Superstore, and it's insane that I already have it. Look at this thing, dude. You got that purple, white, and black camel. I will be posting a review on this and one other figure that I have in this bag, so stay tuned. This figure's insane. The other people in the set is Tori Wilson and JBL. Some people did have the Tori Wilson at the Mattel, uh, at the Mattel thing, which was pretty cool, but yeah, I got the edge right there. I did trade for this uh, from a guy up there that saw it was pretty cool. Appreciate you, brother, for accepting the trade. And then next we do have JBL, also from that Ruthless Aggression line. This is a very unique JBL figure. I didn't see it until I walked into the Superstore and I'm like, oh, they went with the American flag colors. I think it's cool. I like it. It's unique compared to my other JBL that I have. Uh, and it's looking freaking solid, dude. I'm looking forward to getting out of the box. Once again, I will be posting a review on him and Edge in the same video. So stay tuned for that video if you're interested. Last figure that I need out of that set is Tori Wilson. So uh, I'm definitely going to be trying to hunt that down in Walmart. You guys know my luck with Walmarts, though. Very, very bad. Uh, last figure that they did hook me up with in the mystery bag was the Elite 100 Rey Mysterio. I do have this figure already, uh, but it'll be pretty cool to add to my mock collection. The packaging was great. Very well done by uh, Jonathan Bartlett. He nailed the art. Uh, I actually met him up there, which was pretty freaking cool. This figure's epic. 
And then last thing in the Mattel bag, we do have this, which I'm about to show you all right now. I got my tag that I had at Mattel, and it says my name on it, which is pretty cool. I like that, definitely gonna be keeping that. And then we also do have this clear WWE bag that I did get uh, in the Mattel bag. And I, the reason I think they gave me this is because SoFi Stadium, where WrestleMania was held, has like a clear bag policy. So I think um, they gave me this, like just in case I had to bring anything into SoFi Stadium. Hey, Brett, here's a clear bag. It's got the WWE logo on it. It's pretty freaking official. It's pretty nice. I like it. And then you can't leave WrestleMania without the freaking program. The official WrestleMania 39 program right there. This has like all the matches that happened at the show uh, in it. Brock Lesnar, Omos, Jimmy and Jey Uso over Sammy and Kevin. It has all the matches. And then I also did get this card. I got two WWE Elite 100 uh, little printouts right here. And I got it signed by George, the WWE... Uh, Mattel packaging designer, the head packaging designer right there. That's his signature there. And then I also got it signed by Jonathan Bartlett, the guy responsible for all the art right here. I did interview both of them in my newest videos, so check them all out. They're absolute bangers. But yeah, this is a very cool printout. I might get one of these framed. I'm still debating on if I want to do that. Well, but yeah, this planogram's epic. I freaking love, like, stuff like this is cool because this literally captures the entire show. It's got a bunch of old WrestleMania logos. I, li I think literally, yeah, literally going up to the WrestleMania that is being held, which was WrestleMania 39. They literally have 38 in here. That is so sick, bruh. Oh my God, dude, that is sick. Let's go. This is sick. I can literally look at this for hours. I love this thing. And then on the back, it has uh, the Hall of Fame class of 2023, the great Muda, Tim White, Andy Kaufman, Rey Mysterio, and Stacey Keebler. That is very, very cool. And no, this video is not over. We still got two more items, and they're pretty freaking big items. Uh, and I'm about to show them. I know I showed this already in my um, Superstore video, but I want to show it again. It is the WWE Spinner Replica. Slide it out just like that, and then there is the WWE Spinner Replica title. Like I said, I already showed this in the video, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. Obviously, it is the Spinner Replica, so you can spin the WWE logo. Let me get a good spin here. Hold on, that was bad. There we go. We got the WWE logo spinning in the center. You can't see me. That is so sick. Um, yeah, got that Spinner Replica. It's freaking epic, dude, oh my god. And then the last item that I'm going to talk about in this video, I picked it up from WrestleMania itself. I got it at the belt booth. It is the undisputed WWE World Championship. Look at this thing. It's version 2. This is the Brock Lesnar style because it's freaking massive. Uh, we are going to open it right now. Let's unzip it. Oh my god. Sick. Oh, this is sick. Taking out of the bag, there she is. And these are both real, they're both real replicas, not commemorative. Um, yeah, there she is, dude. Oh my God, I've only ever seen this belt in figure form. To have it in real life is epic. Like just putting this bad boy over the shoulder, like, oh my God, this thing is so sick. I wore this at WrestleMania the entire time. And it did get a little annoying here and there because it doesn't fit around my waist because um, I'm a little lean, if you know what I'm saying. So um, it didn't really fit around my waist. But it, hanging over the shoulder is epic. You know, it literally, it's got a nice curve to the front plate. So it hangs over your shoulder really easily. But yes, guys, that has been the Mattel Mystery Bag slash WrestleMania haul video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to drop a like. Comment down below your favorite item that I got in the vid. Uh, there were some solid freaking figures, including both those versus aggression figures that will be a review dropping on soon, and the belts themselves. My God, WrestleMania was epic, guys. Y'all have to experience it for yourself. Um, yeah, you got to make it happen. You got to make it happen. It's Philly next year. I may be there. I may not be there. Um... We'll see. I will keep you guys posted. You guys will always know if I'm going to a WWE event. I always let you know on my Instagram page, BrettoLive04. Follow me over there. I always let y'all know before I go to an event. But yeah, guys, that has been the video once again. And I really hope you guys enjoyed. BrettoLive out. Ah.